The One Planet Summit, attended by over 60 world leaders, marked an extraordinary moment in the worldwide efforts towards turning the tables on climate change. From the United Nations systems to governments and investors, billions of dollars have been mobilized towards helping to keep temperature rise to well below 2 degrees and in turn safeguarding the meeting of the objectives of the Sustainable Development Goals. Most importantly, the summit shined a light on the mechanics of transforming the Paris Agreement from talk to real action, especially in prioritizing adaptation efforts in countries where vulnerabilities are highest and the need for safety and resilience is greatest. Members of the Nigerian delegation described Nigeria's participation as a demonstration of political will towards mitigating the adverse effect of climate change in the country. We came here primarily to look at what the world has to offer so that we can key into it and ensure that we get our own fair share. We receive serious commitment, particularly from the French government, from uh, other more advanced countries like Sweden, who are willing to assist. Uh, we have figures like uh, Bill Gates, who has promised a huge amount of money. The European Union also has keyed in into this event and they are willing to uh, offer significant assistance. In mind, we have the issue of circular economy, we have the issue of renewable, we have the issue of waste management. And in this waste management, you know, you can turn waste into wealth. One of the biggest ones, of course, is the recharging of Lake Chad, you know. But, um, you know, there are other areas in which, um, you know, we're working uh, towards. Uh, we have to, you know, uh, decrease uh, gas flaring and we have to start investing in solar energy, renewable energy. Uh, climate change, you know, it affects Nigeria in all ramifications. So it's very important... Uh, that I'm here and uh, to support the president. You know, the Benue Belt uh, is part of Adamawa State, uh, and uh, the, we have a, a water that has dried now. I hope, uh, like you said, Adamawa will benefit at, uh, at the end of it. The president, Muhammad Buhari, is already emphasizing the planting of trees and the shelter belt so that uh, we take care of the desert encroachment. And already in the southern part of this country, he has already started cleaning the Ogoni land who are suffering from pollution and so. So I believe this uh, summit is very, very important. We are particular about what has happened to our forests. We, we have our forestation projects between totally deforested and what we go along with now is that, look, we have assurance that the whole world will support reforestation in Ondo State and all over the other parts of Nigeria where we're supposed to have forests. The Minister of Environment takes pride in the excellent rating of Nigeria's green bond, soon to be launched towards financing climate-related activities. The green bond, we are targeting 150 billion at the first time. The first tranche that will come up is 10 billion. In mind, we have issues of afforestation, we have issues of renewable energies such as solar, and uh, we have also issues of transportation where we look at uh, ways of reducing emission from transportation sector. The Green Bond is scheduled to be launched in Abuja on the 18th of this month. From Paris, France, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.